Out of the shotgun. Four wide. Curl pattern, a little comebacker. Again, right back at you. Third and one. What a power eye look back there. Conley, he got to the edge in a hurry. But this is all Kwali finding his way through, right? He's patient, he's patient. And then he first on the outside. We talked about in the open for a reason. He has to be the equalizer. He did not make the trip, so he'll have to get Kwali most of the carries. There's that penetration. Desmond Purnell is so fun to watch. Watch him here to the left of your screen. Just shoot the gap. He's not the biggest guy, so he has to play fast. He gets underneath, and boom! He beats the big offensive lineman, Jonah Savanaya, so Savanaya, into the backfield. Four wides now. Fafita, sprint out action, caught by T Mac. McMillan, a first down at the 11. Not before he picked up the yardage. Really nice job. Watch his pace. His pace. He's trying to set up a pick. Slow, 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 then burst away in man to man coverage. A very nice job of McMillan getting across the field. It's been very effective. Conley, touchdown. His fourth of the season. And what a drive. I mean, this is about as good as it gets for Conley finding his way through. <laughs> Linebackers diving and missing. He's reminded of that, I'm sure, as he's watching this one in Wisconsin. Getting ready for big noon. There's the legs again. Look at that throw. It's com incomplete. Cephas dropped it. Boy, it was so well thrown. Mahomes-esque throwing going the opposite way. It's a really good job by Dante Cephas to get all the way across the field. Mm. This catch has to be made. You've uh. got to stay on your feet. Don't fall to the ground because that's when the ball comes out, right? Falling down, it was a good enough throw that you can stay on your feet, run out of bounds, or get up the field. He lost that as he was seeding the ball. Yeah. He really did. Second and ten. There he goes. Crowd will tell you that story. He is quick. Will be nice. Oh, I think he knows 98 is here too. The old Michigan quarterback. There goes DJ Giddens. Oh, what a hit. Take a look at the center and the guard, Sam Heck and Hadley Panzer, who might wasn't supposed to play today. Pull around, and Giddens has such patience behind, behind, find his way through, and then try to deliver a blow. 15th play of this drive. Play fake. Flooded the zone. It is a touchdown. Will Swanson. Watch him. He's in the three-point stance, right? So he gets ignored. He bluffs the defensive end or the safety coming down to be the edge player. And he's wide open in the flat. From Lucas, Texas, to boot it away. We'll get it off around his 13. Oh, that's low. And it's going to bounce. But it takes a Sunday hop. And look out. It's returnable. Here he comes. There he goes. Touchdown. To get this play started, you have to get it started. McIntosh here doesn't block him in the back, just kind of screens him like basketball, and the rest is history. The transfer from Colorado puts his stamp on this Friday night game. First down, Arizona. They find themselves behind for the first time. Throw it deep to T-Mac. That's how you answer, and he just did. No Fafita back there. He'll say, well, T-Mac's down there somewhere. <laughs> Let's throw it up. And look at him go high yep. point that football. Not a pancake. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> first and 20. Look in. McMillan. Well, the issue that they had connecting last week has been solved. At least those things. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Plenty of time, post pattern, look out, Riley, it's picked, it's Keenan Garber out of the end zone. Pointing in a cover three zone, he sees the quarterback throw it, and then he darts over into the screen for an interception, and he's got his offense the ball back when we come back. I mean, that's like an outfielder running yeah. to go snag that ball out of the air. It is. On the edge again, Dylan Edwards. What a night he's having, huh? He's still on his feet. All the way up to the 48. Second level, but up front. 
They're not able to get to Johnson. It's showing up here on this drive on a little comeback route to Jace Brown. Um, he was Warren Moon's backup at Washington as a quarterback years ago. D.J. Giddens carries. 48-yard attempt. Slight angle right from the left half. Let's go! And he pulled it. So Brennan is happy. See if the hold was okay. Yep, got it rotated. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, a little REO. Only been there for two years. Yep. We'll be just fine. He's the quarterback's coach, and Connor Riley, the offensive coordinator, as you see Avery Johnson toting it himself at the point of attack. Hey, Tim, didn't I say he'd be just fine? Yeah. This is a nice job to make sure to get him back in the rhythm of the game. Portier, big number 69. Look at him. Look at him up. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Can't find the guy, and he's trying to find someone. Make that four wide. We got trips to the bottom of your screen. Johnson rolls in that direction. Slings it out. It's caught. It's Jace Brown. Look out. Lots of green grass. Change of direction. Big time play. Beautiful passing. We talked about it all game, but it starts with the, the inability to keep contained by number eight, Sterling Lane, and the rest is all Brown. I told you earlier in the game that they have built quite a rapport, and they're going to grow up together, and you can see some of that rapport right there. Leads his team down. Eight penalties, 69 yards against them. Wide open touchdown, Braden Lofton. So what do you do? You fake an edge run with the pitch and allow the big tight end, Braden Lofton, to slow, 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 and then get on the out. Lead that they felt they needed at the end of the first half. They've got moments in to half number two. You get that kind of production to go along with uh, the big play capability of this quarterback and these receivers, and you got something special here at K-State. Here goes Avery Johnson again. Ooh, spin, baby, spin. And he's twirled out of bounds at around the 44-yard line by Manu. He made himself available to get tackled, a gain of 17. I just love this from Avery. He goes through his entire progression, and then he knows I'm one of the best athletes on the field. No need to throw it. Go pick it up with my legs, and then you're going to get this crowd involved. You continue to fight for more <laughs> as a true sophomore. Waving goodbye to go to Ohio State, knowing that this kid's coming around. You know he's special. Howard is now calling. It's third down and four. They really need a stop here. And look out. There goes Giddens with a super block. Those receivers know how to block downfield. They always do. Single high safety to try to help him get guys in on the run. Johnson perfectly thrown to Lofton. With the tight end coming right behind him, and it's nice and soft in between two defenders. What an outstanding throw. Statement drive right here, right now. Look out. Touchdown. D.J. Giddens. This is a touchdown by Giddens, but how about Kilty, Panzer, Hecht, Portier, and Willis making sure they're running back. From under center, Fafita. Underneath, incomplete. Again, tremendous defense. And converging is Colby McAllister. Number two, the strong safety, knocking it away from Olsen. Comes from the opposite side and tracks this ball down, and it is incomplete to get his offense back on the field when we return. One more time. Why not? Just do it yourself, number two. 224 to 46. Something to think about. Two tackles for losses, sacks. You go to, into the equation in yards rushing in college football. Pass is underneath and shy of the first down yardage. You know, my wife complains that I tell some of those that in my sleep while dreaming. <laughs> I'm telling you, I yeah. bet you do. Terry has said that. You got to shut up, man. I'm, I'm tired of hearing these stories. <laughs> Tenant boots it through. Okay, you, everybody can say hi to Terry now. She's hi, listening. Terry. Yeah, and the most telling stat for a team after the game 
for an offense especially zero turnovers yeah for Kansas yeah. State they they were exceptional led by their quarterback the true sophomore who we've talked a lot about tonight Avery Johnson.